Where's our C1 certificate? By 2008-2009, I was other those students. At AOE state-run language schools, you get free and top quality language lessons for everybody, but now you cannot get a certificate crediting an advanced level. Avanzado 2, a B2, stands for an upper intermediate level. We've got the schools, we've got the teachers, we've got the students. Where are our certificates? Hello, I'm an old student of AOE Getafe, the state-run language school in Getafe, and I'm going to speak about um, the importance of playing games in EFL language, uh, EFL classroom, English as a foreign language, for students from age 3 to 14. Uh, first of all, uh, I've chosen this topic because I'm a teacher and I like playing with my students and also because <clears throat> um, it's very fun for the students to learn by playing. They like it a lot and because playing is a vital and um, natural part of their growing up and learning experience. Uh, by playing, they experiment and discover many things. Apart from that, they interact uh, with uh, the environment, and for the teacher, it's an essential tool uh, that makes the students understand the, the world. Um, apart from that, playing in the classroom adds um, add variation and increase, it increases the student's motivation and provides uh, incentive to the target language. Um, it's also important because it makes the foreign language useful for the students and um, it brings the, the language or the target language to life. Um, playing is important because it is a set of rules and that guides the children to, to, to use uh, the language itself uh, and it is also an element of strategy and there are two kinds of two main groups of games that are cooperative and competitive the difference between them is that in a competitive games, in a competitive game, sorry, and the student uh, play against one, play against between them, and um, some people win and other people lose. Um, however, when the game is cooperative, they work together to achieve a goal. Um, it's a health challenge to the student. So then, uh, by playing, they turn a single word in a sentence, for example. And it's also important because they can use the functions that sometimes is not presented in the books. Um, of course, uh, there are some tips when using games in the classroom. For example, uh, the games must be fun um, and must contain a language must contain language components. Um, it's important. It's also important to play different games from lesson to lesson, and uh, the variation is also very important when using games in the classroom. Uh, it's for the teacher, a tip that I would like to give is that you have to end the game when the fan is still in its peak. I mean, um, don't uh, wait for the students to be bored when they are pre playing. So when they are very excited, uh, end the, the game and then other day start playing again. But it's also important to change uh, the, the kind of games you are using in, in the classroom. Um, uh, teachers have to think about many things when choosing a game for the classroom. For example, the level they are working with, 
the classroom size in order to have a place for them to work um, uh, and of course they have to teachers have to choose the right material to use in the classroom uh, apart from that there are very there are sorry many kinds of games that teachers can use in the classroom I'm going to tell uh, some of them some of them uh, some uh, games are movement games card games board games dice games drawing games uh, guessing games and role play games uh, another another important kind of uh, games that we can use in the classroom are the ones that in, in which the student can sing and chant and use chanting to, to speak and um, sometimes a teacher says that uh, games are very uh, expensive but it's not because you can also create the, the games and you can invite your students to create the games with you and it's very good for them because they um, participate in the pro they participate in the process and it's very um, helpful and rich it's a very helpful and rich experience um, I would recommend uh, the use of the games in the classroom because it makes your class funnier, entertainment, entertaining and uh, your student for, will enjoy it for sure. Thank you.